Hey everyone, I'm Max Murphy and you're watching Mac News Weekly at Macworld. Here's my interview with Rick Kalman from FileMaker. I'm here with Rick Kalman from FileMaker and he's going to show us the new FileMaker 10 that just came out. So what are some new features? So really the biggest uh, deal uh, with FileMaker 10 is we have made the biggest change and update to the user interface of FileMaker uh, in well over a decade. Really briefly I'm going to show you the old interface of FileMaker. If you're familiar at all with FileMaker, for years we've had the 69 pixel horizontal status area in the product and now what we've done is um, we have a, a new status toolbar that's horizontal across the top that allows us to do some very important things. One, first of all, it's just a uh, really refreshes the look of FileMaker, making it far more of a familiar application in um, you know the 21st century. People are used to uh, web browsers uh, and uh, Apple applications that look like this. So we and it allows us to do a number of things. One, for our new users, it brings a lot of the functionality application used to be buried up here under the hierarchical menus down into the application so that it's much more discoverable on the capability abilities of the product, but also for our existing users, and we have millions of existing users of our product, we spend a lot of time looking at the kinds of things that people do in FileMaker and bringing down those uh, those tasks that they most often do ready at hand. However, also we know that people interact with databases in different ways and in unique ways. We made it very easy to also customize the toolbar. So we have a default set here, but if you're someone who wants to do a lot of uh, data importing, you like to send a lot of email, you can easily now customize the interface in FileMaker to uh, work um, just the way you like to work. Uh, a lot of other features as well in the product, but they all really interact uh, with the new interface, making FileMaker, which we're known to be the you know the one of the most easiest, if not the easiest, to use uh, um, full uh, relational database uh, and uh, make it easier to approach, and at the same time make it far more productive for people that already know how to, how to use our product. So, in essence, I think that's the the, the biggest uh, news about the new release. So it's enhancing the experience for current users and it's also making it a little easier to use for users who may not be using FileMaker currently. If I've never touched FileMaker in my life before, how easy would it be to create a new database? Uh, it would be pretty easy. For instance, you'd first uh, launch FileMaker, and the first thing we do is, by default, you'll, we land you on a Learn More screen that has resources, videos to watch about the kinds of things you can do with FileMaker. We have a hands-on visual tour that will walk you through doing things like for setting up your first database. Also, we give you three options if you know uh, about databases. You can obviously create your own tables and fields. Uh, you also could start a FileMaker database automatically by choosing Excel or even Bento, uh, FileMaker's um, uh, personal desktop database for the, the Mac or other common uh, data sources. We also have 30 built-in starter solutions that you can select and uh, that cover areas like contact management, invoices, inventory. Uh, for instance, what you're seeing here is actually just one of our built-in starter solutions or templates of contact management. Uh, and uh, so it's pretty easy to get started and I think we've, we've created the interface in such a way now where it's easier not only to get started but also to begin then you know, being productive and using the tool uh, because it's a very powerful tool that's very easy to approach. And FileMaker 10 is available now? FileMaker 10 is available as of January 5th, uh, so certainly available now. And how much does it cost for a single user license? Single user license, if uh, you're buying your first version, is $299. If you're upgrading from a previous version of FileMaker Pro, it's $179. And it's at FileMaker.com? Yes www.filemaker.com. You can download a free 30-day trial, fully functional, uh, and so on. Thank you, Rick. Thanks for watching. As you can tell, we're kind of building out a new set, but I'll be back Monday with news. Have a great weekend.